The problem with Las Vegas is sometimes you win big, sometimes you lose big. For the Zags, it was a heartbreaking loss last night. The Zags met the St. Mary's Gales head on in the WCC title game and ended up losing by 19. Last night's loss not only hurts their pride, it also means their chances of a near home court advantage for the NCAA tournament are pretty much gone. KXY 4's McKay Allen live at the Spokane Arena tonight. The Zags probably would have played. Exactly. They would have played here at the Spokane Arena. I talked to some bracketologists today who said if they would have won, they would have been a 4 or 5 seed and played right here. But alas, it was not to be. Oh, what might have been. How big of an opportunity did Gonzaga blow last night? Well, it was a big one. According to Bracketology 101's Matt Reeves, a trained, certified bracketologist, if Gonzaga won last night, they would almost certainly have played at the Spokane Arena. Not anymore. On our projection as of today, the ninth, they are uh, going to head to Buffalo the first weekend. Buffalo, New York against Old Dominion. Buffalo is 2,348 miles away and snowy. A round-trip plane ticket to Buffalo costs $697. That's with two layovers. ESPN.com has the Zags in Oklahoma City against Marquette. Bracketville has them in Milwaukee against Notre Dame. Now Gonzaga fans are dumping their tickets to tournament games at the arena. Tickets on Craigslist are going for 40% less than they were yesterday. So did they blow it last night, a chance to play right near home? It sounds like it. It looks like it. Two tournament games at Spokane Arena. Home games until the Sweet 16. Oh, what might have been. Yeah, that would have been a wild scene here at the arena if the Zags would have been playing here 1.2 miles away from their campus. Instead, they could wind up 2,300 miles away from their campus. Reporting live at the Spokane Arena, it's empty, and it will be. McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.